Hello everybody, welcome to Second Life Travels once again. Today we're at the Angry Mortuary, if I'm pronouncing that right. Which I think is part of a couple things under an angry name type of thing, because the owner here is named Angry Noob. And I think there's like an angry store and some other angry things, but... Today we're looking at this place, as I think it's here particularly for Halloween, so I'm considering it a Halloween spot. It's also in the Halloween hunt, which I always like to look at around this time of year and find some neat spots. Oh, it looks like somebody's had their, uh, face bloodied up underneath there. Yeah, I looked around this a little bit. It seems pretty nice. Uh, it's supposed to be based off a of mortuary, but it seems like there's a couple of more ghoulish things going on here as well. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, just take a look around. There are other teleports here. I'm not going to be messing with those today. But perhaps in another video at another time, we might be looking at more of the areas of this place. We do have an NPC that likes to tell us hello every once in a while as well. We do have a couple of little outside spots here, just a couple of things here, like this planetarium over here, which is pretty nice looking. You can see the stuff spinning around here. It's actually moving around pretty fast, I don't know if that's, uh, like if this has some sort of like speed change to it. Usually when I see these things, they're moving pretty slow, but that's a pretty fast one. We got a couple spots where bodies can go, I guess. Because this is a mortuary. But we're going to go ahead and just look through the rooms here. And we'll go ahead and... Oh, clown face type of thing. I think this is supposed to be part of like a playground set, maybe? Or something along those lines? I wrote something that's supposed to be like a playground set, but has kind of like a Halloween twist to it. I'm not quite sure. It looks like kind of like part of a slide almost. Oh, I like this. This little like hut area here with the nice candles and the nice sofa. Super nice, honestly. Like, I always want to make something like this, where you have, like, a little hut somewhere just off the beaten path to be able to hang out in, but I can never quite get the detailing right with something like this. Like, if I try and make something like this, it end up being, like, rather cramped, I think, because I just over-detail. That's pretty nice down there. I'd assume we should be able to find uh, Angus, because Angus, I think, is around, I think, in this room? Nice little shattered mirror here, I think it is. I guess it's technically supposed to be like a portal. Yeah, there's Angus. But yeah, around this place, we do have, like, pictures and whatnot, and some of this is supposed to be realistic in how a mortuary is supposed to be like. And so there is like a lot of uh, different type of pictures that some of them are actually real and some of them are like uh, recreations type of things. So it is an interesting type of thing to just kind of look at because not a lot of people think about uh, this type of work, but it is a necessary and needed thing you know, for society in general, to be able to take care of our dead. So it is an important thing. Oh, we got a person in a vel here. It looks like we can actually pose with them if we wanted to. I don't think I'm quite correct because of my AO, but... 
I think this would technically be considered spirit photography. Photography. <laughs> A little crow there on the ground also. And some different jokers. This place actually is fairly decently busy because there are... Last time I checked this place out it had a lot of people setting off Angus here when they were going through. It was kind of funny. Yeah, let's head down into the basement, I guess. And the basement's kind of where things get a bit strange. Compared to everything else. Got like a hallway out this way. But in here, it seems kind of like it's a... Uh, Kind of comes off like a den of a serial killer or something like that. We're not actually that far off. And we'll go behind this curtain here and we'll see exactly why I say that. Because it's actually apparently supposed to be a form of, I guess, recreation of Ed Gein's place. We like the skin people, so. But apparently you can get his hat here for free. So there are a few different like little free things around. Yeah, cause you can actually see some newspaper clippings here on these frames. Yeah, back here we have... Actually, a pretty morbid little spot here, where we see like people's faces skinned off and things like that. But he he was like a pretty crazy guy because he had things like skin lampshades and other stuff like that. And several of, like, movie killers are actually based off him, like, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I think, I think, I think a little bit of Hannibal Lecter as well from, like, Silence of the Lambs, but I can't, I'm not quite sure on that one. This, actually, this hallway actually makes me think of vis vis Visage, uh, the game, when I see it. It looks like in here we have like a patient's room of some sort. So this hallway seems to kind of be leading to different spots of like different types of horror going on, I think. Like, this guy's over here looking in his mirror and seeing something looking back at him that's not him. Which is kind of like a, a mental type of horror going on. Oh, we can even hear Angus from here. Looks like this room is locked. This is not reality.
And in this room we can see... It almost looks Silent Hill-ish, and there's actually a moment in, in one of the Silent Hill games to have this kind of thing going on, where you can see something in the reflection that's not happening in the actual room. the monster be standing here if we could uh see it and here we have a locked door which I've seen this kind of locked door before like this there was a locked door kind of like this in Silent Hill 4 and there was one in Visage that I think was locked like that as well Oh, we've already been in here. But yeah, some different different type of, Oh, there's a corpse underneath the stairs. Different types of horror going on in those rooms. And it is seemingly the, uh... Like, the worst of this place. Because up here, it's more... More like a mortuary. A normal one than, uh... What's going on downstairs, for sure. Yeah, I think there's definitely other people hanging around here, too. Looks like there's a little bit going on outside as well, but I think I might keep that for last. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, yeah, nice little piano going on here, too. And we have somebody's death mask here, actually. Like, it used to be a practice where people would make molds of people when they die and have, like, a mask like this. There's actually quite a few music boxes in here. Birdie! This is a pretty nice music box. I'm pretty sure I have this music box. It's a contraption one. Another death mask right here. This one's apparently Napoleon Bonaparte. Very interesting place so far, though. Like, some parts of it you can definitely see it looks like it's still being used, and then you see areas that are just kind of, like, desolate, like in here. Off to the side here. Yep. Looks like a bathroom, actually. Fairly normal one, too. Actually, that, that, was, that, was, that was like a shallow out of a ghost in the corner there, but it's actually just lighting, I think, on the wall. Like, no joke, that's what I thought it was for a moment. <laughs> We got a little, uh, little doll here with a skull on its face. Clock's definitely not working anymore. Well, that's a creepy doll. It's a doll holding a doll, from what I can tell.
all different types of flowers here. Some of these, uh, like, character pictures right here, too. Oh, it changed, so I guess there must be, uh, must be one of those rotating frames. I did not see that rabbit there before. That, uh... <laughs> Like, I just kind of turned and saw it there, and I didn't, didn't remember seeing it there before. Oh, that's a creepy picture. I think at this point we can head upstairs and see what's going on here. Actually, quite a few rooms up here, it looks like. Some more Joker pictures, it looks like. Someone's definitely a fan here. Oh, it can go right through the boards. Okay. Well, this gives us a nice little view of uh, what's going on up here, at least. That's just a window. I'm not sure what that is. I think it might be a post stand. Oh, it's like a coffin room here. Like where the coffins are all stored. Yeah, I guess you would expect to find that, find this type of thing here, in a place like this. <clears throat> oh, we got a little haunted tea set there. Oh, plenty of masks here. Some of them I recognize, some of them I don't. Oh, we actually do have a ghost roaming around here. Looks like they're just walking through the air to the balcony we were at before. That would have been spooky if we had, like, popped out of that balcony a couple moments uh, after when we did and saw that coming straight towards us. I did see a little crack in here. It looks like that leads to something. Oh, I didn't realize there was a door here. Okay. I missed this originally when I came through the first time. Looks like it's almost like somebody's bedroom in here. Huh. Hope this wasn't considered private or something. Got a little plushy here of a wolf. Plenty of uh, videos, it looks like. Like older style VHSs, maybe. Uh, gotta close the door first. It's like someone's hideaway room in there. Oh, this looks like it's like a art room of sorts. Oh, that ghost is coming back around. <laughs> Plenty of different pictures here on the walls, just all sorts of images. This balcony is all boarded up, it looks like. Some of them are neat, and some of them are actually pretty unsettling, from what I can tell. It looks like we have a few different, uh, looks like different guns here, actually, older style ones. Type of thing. And they all have their little diagrams. That's pretty neat. It looks like we have another bathroom in here. This one's super dark. But it looks fairly normal otherwise. It looks like this is another storage room of sorts. This one definitely has that old left to rot kind of feel to it, like an attic. Even like old mannequins.
old TV sitting here still playing too. But yeah, this has been a pretty nice place. It has that subtle, like, uneasiest feel to it. Though the, the basement area is definitely, like, full-on horror going on. I see a tunnel over here. I don't know if this is maybe a teleport or not. So we'll just go ahead and check it real quick. Or is there anything else besides this tunnel? Let me just check it real quick. Nope, it's nothing. Okay. Yeah, there is a little bit more over here. Sounds like a ghostly spirit. Got a little orb floating around, it looks like. And even like the uh, Grim Reaper or something like that over here too. Over, I like this place. It's something different, and I always like I always like the contrast of like more subtle Halloween places compared to the ones that are just really outright haunted happenings going on type of thing going on. Like I like both sets of like both sides of the coin type of thing going on. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this visit. And I'll hopefully see you guys with another one here real soon, and have a happy Halloween.